Hi, I'm OZ Hall. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This video examines the AM1031 multi-purpose filter from AmSense in the UK. I like to think of this filter as a legendary ARP 1047 multi-mode filter with a fifth response called Peak. We'll review this response in detail in this video. The AM1031 is a current product of AmSense. See a link in the description to their product page. The only video I could find on it was the part of the overview video entitled AmSense Plans 2024, 10 ARP 2500 modules. See a link in the description to that brief introductory video. Before we go deeper into the history of the AM1031, let's quickly review the front panel controls. Here we have the front panel of the AmSense AM1031. Let's get a closer look and check out the details of the controls there. In the top we have the cutoff and the resonance controls. We have our modulation controls in the center section. There are two frequency modulation controls and they are subject to the position of these two faders. We have a keyboard CV input which is unattenuated and we have the QCV which controls the amount of resonance and is under the control of this attenuator. In the bottom section we have a two input audio mixer and we've got four output sockets. They are high pass, low pass, band pass, and then here we have a single socket to accommodate both the notch and the peak response outputs. And we switch between notch and peak with this switch here. And those are all the controls on the front panel. The AM1031 is described in the product page as being a quote, reimagining of the ARP 1031 dual multi-purpose filter that was announced in 1970 as part of the 2500 analog modular synthesizer." End quote. The ARP 1031 product never made it into production. This multi-purpose filter did make it into production in 1975 as the Ares AR327 module in the Ares modular series. Engineer Dennis Collin developed both the 1047 and the AR-327. The AR-327 has now been recreated as the AM-1031 module. I already have several videos on the Behringer 1047 multipurpose filter. See a link in the description to one of those videos. As I mentioned before, on the 1027, there are four responses. You have low pass, band pass, high pass, and notch. The 1031 has all of those plus the peak response. I want to focus on the new peak response in this video. For reference, there is a link in the description to a demo of the peak response of the Triangulum Research AT327, which is a 2018 clone of the AR327 Ares module, but it is in Eurorack format. So see the description for that link. Now let's take a listen to the AM1031. We're going to do some AB audio tests between the notch on the 1047 and the notch and peak on the AM1031. We're using a single oscillator as our audio source. It's going to both filters. We're using this oscillator in low frequency mode as a triangle wave and it's going to both filters to modulate the frequency. So let's listen to the 1047 first.
and we've got a phasing effect going on. Now let's switch to the 1031 and they're very close. And I want to point out that we're taking the notch output and we've got this switch set to the bottom position which is labeled peak and the upper position is labeled notch. We'll talk more about that later. But that's the comparison of the notch response on the 1047 to the AM1031. We're going to continue with the same setup. Our audio source is this VCO our modulation is coming from this VCO in LFO mode and we're going to listen to the AM 1031. We're taking the notch peak out and we're going to put this switch in the upper position. We've got the resonance all the way counterclockwise so let's listen to that. You'll note when listening to that that we could hear the full spectrum of the sawtooth waveform but the peak portion was being amplified significantly and this is different from a bandpass filter because the bandpass filter is going to cut off everything below and everything above the pass band. In fact we will listen to that. Let's take the resonance down a little bit and turn our volume back up and let's go to the band pass you notice how the low end disappears as it rises now listen here we have a constant low end and a constant high end but wherever the peak is, that's where we're hearing the accentuation of the harmonics. And that's a pretty sweet response from this filter. Just to close the loop on this, I'm going to put this switch in the lower position and put the resonance at half. And we're going to listen to that. And the phasing effect pretty much goes away. We get a little bit going on there. Now let's listen to the 1047 and we're going to vary the resonance as we're listening. I'm avoiding overdriving the filter. And that's the 1031 at full resonance. 
Now let's listen to the 1047 at full resonance. I'm not prepared to say that the labels on this switch are not correct, but in the down position, we get a sound that's virtually identical to the 1047, which is a phasing effect. And in the up position, with higher resonance, we get what I would expect from a peak, which is you can hear the entire signal, but at the cutoff frequency, the harmonics are accentuated significantly. So regardless of the label, this is a really interesting filter because of that peak response. I regard this as a really valuable addition to my 2500 rig. And I'm grateful to have this variation on a theme of the AM1031 multipurpose filter. If you like what you're hearing, please like and subscribe. That's going to wrap it up for this video on the AM1031 multipurpose filter with this special peak response. Thanks so much for watching.